In this third segment, we show you the details of our TLS-100 UNV. We show you how to test the unit as soon as you get it, and some troubleshooting if it's not working properly after you mount it outside and connect it up. It's just one video in a series of videos to help you understand the unit and make it easy to use in your landscape lighting design. This is a video about testing your transformer right out of the box, right when you first get it. It's always good to check it out. There's no variables, it's just the transformer. The second part of this video will be how to check this transformer after it's already mounted and been working for a while. So let's first open the cover. You only require a screwdriver. There's two screws here on the sides. Just loosen the screws, take the cover off. Inside the cover, you'll find some instructions as well as a QR code that takes you to our website, which is constantly updated with all kinds of really cool information on troubleshooting, landscape lighting, videos of projects, pretty much everything you want. I'm gonna take a quick tour through the unit and show you a couple of things I'd like to call your attentions to. So this is a plug-in socket. There's the socket, there's the plug. We're gonna be referring to these here in a little bit. There's two indicator lights up here. I'll use my screwdriver to point them out. Indicator light input and indicator light output. Output means the unit's working and making 12 volts that can run out to your landscape lighting system. There's a little jumper plug. This plug is removed when a photo cells use. Photo cell goes in this hole right here. I'm gonna just put a clip here, keep the wire out of the way of the camera. Down here are the terminal blocks. There's two sets of screws. You can see them here. This is the top set and the lower set. The top set you should never touch. Don't unscrew the top set. All your terminations will happen on the lower set. And then over here is the circuit breaker. And when it comes new right out of the factory, you're gonna put your thumb on it and go, well, that's kind of loose. That's good, that's a good thing. When this isn't loose and it's kind of pushing out, that means the circuit's tripped. We're gonna tackle that in this next segment of this video. So there's the tour of the inside. And like I said, I just pulled it out of the box. I am going to plug it in and see if it works. First, I'm gonna undo this plug just for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna plug the unit in. And the first thing I'm gonna notice is the input light just went on. What does that tell us? That tells us that the unit's plugged in. It tells me there's power in this extension cord, 120 volts, it's passing through this plug going into the unit. So right now this unit has 120 volts in it. It's not doing anything yet though. It's not gonna do anything until I take this plug and send that power to the actual transformer that's behind this box. With this plugged in, power's going to the transformer. It's being dropped from 120 volts down to 12 volts. The output indicator light is now on. The unit's now making 12 volts. 12 volts is coming down here to the terminals and you're ready to go. It's as simple as that. Question. Is this transformer working? Answer, yes, both green lights are on. It is working, there's no doubt. This is the simple transformer without any variables. What are the variables? They are as follows. There's a timer variable that can be plugged into the center. There's a photo cell that can be added. And there's a whole array of Wi-Fi devices that plug into this unit. For example, this one's made by Leviton, obviously and it also plugs into the socket. And we're going to address this in a separate video, but we wanted to show you what to do when you get it out of the box and how to test it with no variables installed. All right, here's a little closer look of a transformer with two variables. It has a timer and a photo cell installed. And I can look down at my little green lights and the first light is on, it's green. It's telling me that there is power coming from the property into the power cord and into the transformer unit. So I do have voltage to here. If this little light wasn't on, that means it's not plugged in or the circuit it's coming from isn't working or there's a problem upstream. So I have it plugged in and I know with that green light that I got power right here. Now the second light, the output light is not on. This unit is not producing 12 volts. There is a problem. So to find the problem, we want to remove variables. So I'm gonna unplug the unit just for safety reasons. There's no power coming in and I'm gonna remove variables. The first variable I'm going to remove is this photo cell. Oh, excuse me, this timer. Got ahead of myself. I'm gonna take the plug, I'm gonna plug it in the socket. The timer is gone. I'm gonna unplug the photo cell. Isn't it nice they just plug in? I'm gonna just put the wire up here. I'm gonna put my jumper back. The jumper's gotta be here. Remember the jumper? 
with a little wire on top that I put the clothespin on so it would be out of the way so you could kind of see inside the, the transformer box. All right, now, before I turn this on, before, 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 I'm gonna come down here and check two things. One, I'm gonna check the breaker and make sure that it didn't pop. Okay, no, it's good, kind of loose, so it's not out, so it's not a breaker problem. The power going from the unit, 12 volts, out through the wire is still connected. This may be the problem. There may be a short somewhere outside on the run. So I am going to come in here with my screwdriver and I'm gonna remove the load. Basically, I'm taking the transformer back to when you got it brand new. So jumpers in, plugs in the socket, photo cells disconnected, timer mechanism's gone. I'm gonna plug the unit in. The first light comes on, it tells me it has 120 volts. The second light comes on, tells me 12 volts, tells me it's working. What this tells me is the transformer works with the variables removed. So the problem was possibly the timer, possibly the photo cell, or possibly there's a short out in the field. If there's a short out on the field, most likely this little circuit breaker would have popped and you'd have to push it in. It's a great indicator if there's a problem in the field. In our next video, we're gonna go into a lot of detail about the timer, the photo cell, and if you're using a Wi-Fi device as a variable. The Wi-Fi devices are easily installed. They work really, really good. And we're gonna show you how all that comes together and again, how to check it. If you'd like to find the specifications, all the other videos on how to test install the options, and everything you need to know about our transformer, as well as how to put your entire system together, please follow this link. Together, we can make your property magical. We're a small family business and hope that no matter where you shop, you consider buying from a small business. We are Total Lighting Supply and we know lighting. We've been doing it for 30 years plus. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.